It's my feel good breakfast show. At Samsung, we develop technology so you can live life. Samsung, a way of life. Good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Break for Show Express right here on SABC3. Right now, it's time for your weekly tech roundup with our expert editor of bandwithblog.com, Tianas Janssen von Rendsburg. Now, the world of social media is constantly evolving, and just this week, there were some very big updates from uh, a few of the biggest players in the industry. Tianas, welcome, uh, and thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Ah, the world of social media, what an interesting space, eh? Definitely. Yeah, it's crazy. So let's talk about it. Twitter, first of all. I mean, we know it's been around, we've been using it, but it, uh, they've recently doubled their character limit to 280 this week. Ooh. So, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> may be not happy with cats, are certainly opinions, not happy with it. Opinions. What do you think this will, uh, what kind of effect will this have um, on the community and users? Well, first of all, obviously it means that Donald Trump has longer poop tweets now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it'll be very interesting to see what effect this has on their business because a lot of people have been asking for this. Other people saying, no, it's a microblogging platform. It shouldn't have longer yeah. characters. But people have, for example, been taking uh, screenshots of paragraphs and just posting that um, mm -hmm. instead of having to type everything out. So people have been trying to get around the 140 character limit for a while now. And Twitter are saying, okay, let's let's see what happens if we double the character count. Um, okay. It'll it'll have um, interesting effects on their business model because, as we know, they are struggling to make money. Okay, yeah. So so I don't know. It could be a good thing in the long run. You know, people's got a lot to say. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> so there we go. Now um, another thing, interestingly enough, also focusing on social media, Instagram uh, more specifically. Earlier this year, a study revealed that Instagram has the worst effect on young people's minds. So they went about introducing kindness stickers. So what is this kind of study all about? What came out? So the study was basically looking at what effects Instagram and other social media platforms have on young people in terms of how they think about themselves, um, what kind of things they post on social media, and how they interact with other people on these platforms. And basically what it found was that Instagram wasn't very good for young p people's self-esteem. Uh, you know, because you've, you have all these filtered images, um, it, people put their best life out there on Instagram, and in the long term it meant that um, it didn't have a great effect on uh, young people's uh, mental health as a whole. Um, and that meant that people started, you know, sending each other horrible comments. Um, you've, you've, you've seen how the, yeah. some of the comments are on the internet, it's, it's, yeah. it's horrible. So that's why they've come up with a couple of ways to make it a little bit safer for young people and for everybody as a whole. So a new update will mean that you can decide who can comment on your um, posts and also with kindness stickers, they want to promote positivity, basically. Okay, well, you know, I, I do hope they can work because, I mean, young people, they're so vulnerable, but, I mean, they also want to be exposed to this world of social media. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's great, you know, just the efforts being made. Five to ten years from now, man, the social media, where do you think this is heading, especially with the introduction of like, these kind of things, kindness stickers and yeah. social media, Twitter, 280 characters now? Well, if you think that social media has only been around for basically a decade now, so to yeah. think where it will be in another five or ten years, you know, we can only speculate. What I do think will happen is that there'll be a lot more kind of structures put in place to regulate the type of content that's put out there. We've seen obviously a lot of cyberbullying, a lot of fake news being spread affecting yeah. elections. Um, Facebook said recently that uh, the Kremlin did post a lot of fake news to yeah. affect the elections. So all these kind of things will be clamped down in the future. And I think the, the idea is to make it a lot safer and easier to use, um, that you don't need to worry about your 10-year-old mm. going onto Facebook and, and being, yeah. you know, being bothered by certain things that they put, put out there. Well, it's definitely going to be interesting to see. Tienas, thank you so much for joining us this morning, man. Really appreciate it. So um, if you want, of course, to get your daily dose of tech news and opinion, you can head over to bandwithblog.com. It's all there for you.